Well, good morning, Hillbilly Wizard fans. This is John with Hillbilly Wizard, and I wanted to walk you through a quick project that we just wrapped up. Uh, some installation of a nice lift and some upgraded components on this M1008 Cuck V. Uh, we'll walk through the front side first. What this truck got was about a four and a half inch lift. We've got your upgraded Bilstein shocks. Uh, got some nice extended shock towers on there. Uh, obviously all new bushings and all new mounts. Got your crossover steering on here. Uh, we used the ORD uh, sway bar, which clears the crossover steering. Really a nice system if you're doing that. We've got the ORD extended brake lines as well. Uh, this military cuck V obviously has the Dana 60 front. So it's got some really nice opportunity under there to do your crossover steering arm. We rebuilt the upper kingpins. Really a good idea to do that when you're uh, addressing and have that all apart. Got the Bilstein steering damper on there. DOM tie rods and drag link. Really a nice setup when you're working on any of these one ton trucks with the Dana 60. Steering box is a PSC, got your drop pitman arm. Uh, it is ported for hydraulic assist. This customer uh, didn't need hydraulic assist, but it is ported if he ever wants to go that way. Okay, and then out to the back. Using the stock one ton springs, got your Bilstein shocks. This obviously has the 14 bolt in the back. Uh, you're going to have to do some extensions to your uh, exhaust when you do this upgrade. They will encounter and hit the rear spring. That's how the ORD shackle flip works. You re, uh, remove the stock shock or stock uh, spring mount in the back and install this with a uh, grade 8 hardware. We install new shackles. Don't want to reuse those generally. They do have rubber components in them. Uh, we upgraded the bracket for this customer for his extended brake light, stainless steel. We've got your got his new uh, U-bolts in there. Generally don't want to reuse U-bolts. If you take them out, um, just put new ones on. And in this case, you'll find with a shackle flip. Uh, the pinion typically gets rotated up significantly. If you're not running a CV drive shaft, you probably want to bring that back down. What we do is flip the uh, degree shims around, and that helps bring that down and bring those angles back into spec for uh, for proper drive line angle. Okay. And let's see if there's anything else I can show you here about this Cuck V and how this shackle system works. Pretty simple. Uh, Componentry, but really nice equipment on this truck. A nice example of a Cuck V and uh, really heavy duty driveline and heavy duty components. This customer still got the 285 75 16 tires on there. He's going to run about a 35 inch tire on this truck. But thought I'd walk through it real quick for you here on a Sunday morning and uh, give you a chance to look at what those components are. If you've never used them, they're really good components. You can check us out online, hillbillywizard.com if you're looking to have us do this upgrade. Uh, most of these components came from off-road design. Those are good guys out there as well. All right, appreciate you wa uh, walking through this with me today and have a good morning.